Right, so there's been some confusion regarding the Apple Watch Pro supporting older bands or not, and so let's delve into it. So this all stems from Uncle Pan, a source on Weibo who told us the Apple Watch Pro might not be compatible with existing bands, and this would be the first Apple Watch since the introduction of the Apple Watch to not support existing bands. CS so yes, via Mac rumors, Uncle Pan tells us we should see a square design for the Apple Watch Pro as rumored, but due to this and the larger casing, this will no longer support existing bands. Now, to be honest, I'm not surprised by this at all because obviously, at one point, Apple will be forced to change the band compatibility with their watches. And so this is the perfect time to do that because the Pro Watch is going to be for high-end consumers spending a grand on a watch. Those consumers are going to be willing to get new straps, whereas of course the regular consumers who aren't can settle for the regular Series 8. So yeah, this really makes complete sense to me, especially since using new bands on this and not being forced to give us compatibility with old bands gives Apple more freedom with the design of this, which can can lead to a better product. However, as is the norm in the world of Apple leaks, there is conflicting information regarding this. For example, with the original Uncle Pam post, there is a native Mandarin speaker telling us that no, Uncle Pan was not saying that. Mac Rumors has misinterpreted this. What's actually the case is that older bands should still technically work, but they won't be a perfect fit. So yeah, similar to the Magic Keyboard fiasco last year, where of course the M1 iPad Pros technically did support the older Magic Keyboard but the fit was not perfect. And yeah, German does agree with this, so I'm inclined to believe that's going to be the case. And actually with the Series 4 and the Series 7, when those got larger displays, we did see older bands work with them but it was not a perfect fit. And so yeah, what this source does tell us could make sense. But ultimately, I would not be surprised if Apple does force consumers to get new watch bands for this watch. And once again, I do think for the consumers getting this, lack of compatibility with the existing bands is not a massive issue. And by the way, on Weibo, there is an alleged image of the Apple Watch Series 8's box, but to be honest, I do have my doubts over this because it's a pretty plain Apple Watch box that could be for the older watches. There's really nothing about this that says it's a Series 8, and unlike previous leaks in the past, we don't see the label of the box saying Series 8, it's just the front saying Apple Watch, and so yes, I do have my doubts over this. Then again, maybe I give this source the benefit of the doubts, especially since mass production is of course in full swing for these watches. Thankfully, we also have a leak from a more credible source showing us actual labeling on the box that says Series 8. And yeah, this does confirm two things. Number one, of course, the regular Series 8 is going to remain at the same sizes, but also silver's back with the aluminium casings, and that's pretty awesome news because I'm not a fan of Starlight. Anyway, Shrimp Apple Pro gives us further details regarding the regular Series 8. He confirms that yes, it's going to be coming in the same sizes, there could be a new shade of red, and also Apple's adding more glue to the seals of the box so that residue is actually on the box when you open it, hence preventing some from, of course, repackaging watches that have been opened. And the regular Series 8 for the US market is being produced in China and Vietnam, whereas the Pro's being produced in China and Vietnam, whereas the Pro's being produced in China for now. And in case you're wondering about delays for the Pro Apple Watch, like Max Weinbach told us, Shrimp does say that's not going to be the case, and stock is plentiful at launch, and so there should not be any delays. Anyways, let's now quickly recap the upgrades we should see with the Apple Watch lineup this year because there are going to be three new Apple Watches. So beginning with the Series 8, it's more of an S year this year since of course the Series 7 was a massive redesign. So what upgrades can we expect with this year's watch? Well, to begin with, the flagship feature is going to be a new body temperature sensor that of course should give you notifications to alert you if you do have a low or high temperature. So this could be useful for identifying if you have COVID. Anyways, as for the other features, we should see a low power mode on the Apple Watch, 
which could give us multiple days of battery life. And by the way, this is not coming to older watches. For some reason, Apple's limiting software features to the new watches, which is disappointing news. Anyways, the display should be brighter with the Series 8. We're also technically getting a new chip in this, which should be called the S8 chip, but in reality will be a rebranded version of the S7 chip, which was a rebranded version of the S6. Anyways, in terms of color choices and material choices, there is going to be a reduction in that, so no more titanium for the regular Series 8, and also less colors with the aluminium models. And while less colors do suck, I'm assuming Apple's doing this to simplify Apple Watch production so that, of course, they can produce these watches faster. Anyways, moving to the SE2, this also is not going to be a major refresh. It should have the same design, but we should get the SA chip in this, and that's about it. Now, we could see new colors, or maybe the always on display, but really the whole purpose of this is to bring down the SE1 to 199 and have an entry level Apple Watch in the range. By the way, prices for the Series 8 and the SE2 should be the same as the current models, but now let's move on to the big upgrade with the Apple Watch range, and that is the Apple Watch Pro. So this is going to replace the existing edition watches, meaning it's going to be pretty expensive. In fact, rumors do point towards a $1,000 price, so yeah, this is definitely for a niche market. But we should see a new design that's going to have flat sides, a larger display on the front, also better durability with a titanium case and ceramic shield on the front, and also more fitness features within the OS, like of course additional complications for the larger watch face. Also, we are going to get major battery improvements, this could last one week on a single charge, which would be a massive upgrade. And so yeah, I can see professional athletes buying this, and of course, those wanting the best Apple Watch. Anyways, that's about it guys, but tell me your thoughts regarding these reports in the comments. Anyways, thank you for watching guys, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out above on details regarding the M2 iPad Pros, and on that note, see ya peeps.